singer to Broadway star. And Funny Girl is on here in Manchester for the rest of this week and next week. And listening to me explain the whole thing so he doesn't need to say anything now is Darius. <laughs> How are you? I'm <laughs> very well. Now, Darius Campbell, who has come a very, very, very long way career wise from the, the, the beginnings, or as far as we were concerned, the beginnings on kind of pop idol and pop stars and pop star to opera star and all those things beginning with pop. Um, you've done an awful lot, haven't you? Well, I'm, I'm very lucky to have been supported by the nation and I would never have been able to have been able to have the career that I've had without people giving me a chance and picking mm -hmm. up phones and voting. And Yeah, so that kind of started it all off, Absolutely. didn't it? But then you did capitalise on it. I mean, you've obviously got the talent, you've worked very hard, um, but did you think musical theatre, want to go into the West End? Did you think along those lines? I love storytelling, and so I've been very uh, lucky that Funny Girl is one of those wonderful stories that, beyond being the greatest musical romantic comedy of all time, it's one of those stories that is endearing and enduring. And I look for story. So um, whether it's Gone with the Wind or From Here to Eternity or Guys and Dolls in Chicago, they're great <laughs> classic, iconic stories that need to be told and retold for a new generation and new audience. And that, that's, that's quite a CV. You've just listed those, uh, those productions you've been they, in. They tend to all come from a particular era as well. So the reason I'm interested in this kind of storytelling is because an older generation will know it and love it from when they first heard of it. And then you've got the sons and daughters of that generation that then discover it for the first time that are like, wow, this is great. And so I, for me, it's, it's it's been great to be able to tell cross-generational stories in different genres. And in this instance, it's musical theater and sometimes it's an opera. I did Carmen mm. with the Royal Philharmonic and that was a lot of fun. And again, a re very classic tale that uh, was told on, on a big scale. Funny Girl is an interesting one. I know it very, very well um, because I, I think because I love Barbara Street and so much um, but it, it isn't that obvious a piece really it's not but it's a true story I mean uh, mm. Fanny Bryce was a, a true ugly duckling to swan mm. story and the love story between Fanny and Nicky Arnstein who was a, a real man who, who you play who I play mm. um, who Omar, Omar Sharif played in the film and their love story is very tempestuous and it's kind of reflective of the kind of relationships that we're experiencing today, ironically, we've had this rebalance, although I know there's been a lot of furor around the, the gender uh, pay differences between men and women. Um, this was something that was highlighted by their relationship where she was doing so much better than he was and he felt displaced in the relationship. I know a lot of couples, a lot of friends um, that are going through this new period of, of, uh, of professional uh, challenge between them where the woman's doing better than the man and so I'm all for equality and all, all for women rising up and uh, being able to not only uh, do the jobs that men do as well if not better um, listen, we've got lots and lots to talk about. Uh, principally, we're talking with Darius this afternoon about Funny Girl, which is on here in Manchester for another uh, week and a half, let's say, till a week on Saturday. Let's just see what's happening on the roads. BBC. On BBC Radio Manchester, having a good old chat here to Darius Campbell. Um, he is starring in Funny Girl uh, on in Manchester, as I say, for well, till a week on Saturday. Um, starring, and I should say this, of course, starring with Sheridan Smith. How's it all been going? On? It's been amazing. Did it's you been... know her before? Did yeah, you know her before? We you... had met years ago and had been friends before the show had started. So it was lovely to be able to uh, not only admire her as a friend and know how incredible she was as a performer, but also know just what a beautiful heart she has as a human being. She's so giving and generous and she's an amazing performer and possibly one of the greatest of her generation. I mean, she's a really extraordinary, the kind of talent that is next level. Mm. And I think the audiences um, agree. That's why we have a standing ovation every <laughs> single <laughs> night. I've never been in a show that's been on. This two-year journey started at the Many A Chocolate Factory, in where London. six months of tickets sold out in 45 mm. minutes. Mm. That broke all box office records at the Savoy. And I've never been in a show where every single performance has been a standing ovation. How do, you, how do you follow that then, Darius? We film it. And we do a, a film premiere at cinemas uh, around the UK and it will be all over Sky. 
And so the the magic of uh, of this production, fifty years on from the original Funny Girl, I'd uh, love will be to captured. know. I'd love to know what Barbara Streisand. You know, if you could ask her what she made of it and what she thinks of it, or you know, if she could see the I film. Know. I'd love to well, know. Do you know what? The rumor is that she actually came in in disguise and watched it in London at the oh, Savoy. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I the, hope that's true. I, well, there were a couple of um, stars that did that. Oh. And they, they, we, we happened to know because one of them bumped into one of our cast. Who then? Who, who came in in disguise to we watch? We had the Star Wars cast uh, come in and see the show, and they were <laughs> filming the new Star Wars. And yeah. they, and some of the, a couple of them that are more famous came in and kind of were a little disguised with hats and stuff. Obviously, you want to go to the theatre and not be disturbed. And they saw it, they came out, and they were uh, a couple of them were quite overwhelmed with emotion. And so it was just amazing. Well, was... you see, you say that, Darius. Obviously, you want to go to the theatre and not be disturbed. Some people do, but some people want to go to the theatre and be disturbed. Here I am. There are those kind of people in your business, aren't there? <laughs> there are. There are, you know. I, I don't know if many oh. of the contestants on Love Island actually have seen Funny Girl, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. So, um, all sorts coming up for you next. Um, also, this is so sort of random and left field, but we've just found out from you that your uncle is one of our great, great local artists, Harold Riley. He's a, uh, somewhat of a national hero. He's he the, is. Harold Riley is not only a man who... Uh, He's your uncle. He, yeah, he, he worked closely with, with Lowry mm, uh, he did. and was his contemporary and painted yeah. with Lowry yeah. and shared the same works. And he has the most extraordinary uh, vision for everything that he's done. And he's really been a mentor to me from when I was a young boy. Um, I was in awe of the fact that he painted four presidents, including JFK and four popes, Princess Diana. I know. he. It is extraordinary. I have to say the person, the Harold Riley that I have met, I don't know him, but I have met on a couple of occasions, he's always been there supporting local charities. Yes. He's very, very much a supporter of local charities. And what he does is he said, right, have this have this painting, yes. have it and auction it that's for right. your charity. And he does that uh, from time to time. That's when I've come across him. But he's your uncle. Have you got some of his paintings? Yeah, she's painted me from when I was a little boy and, and my oh, brothers as well. lucky thing. I've been lucky to have been inspired by his work and, and also to see how he's documented the landscape of Salford and Manchester and the ever-changing times over generations from mm -hmm. when he was a little boy. Um, he's got this amazing book of, of uh, street dogs and uh, the little glimpses and insights of the changing landscape of Salford and Manchester he's captured beautifully. And you can actually see he has an archive and a gallery at the Lowry Centre. Uh, you can see all of his work there. And I'd, I'd highly recommend, if you haven't already checked it out, to go and see <laughs> some of the... Uh, the sites from Manchester and Salford gone by from an era that really, I suppose, only exists now in the imagination of, of those that experienced it. This is going to be an absolutely brilliant. This is going to be a quiz question now Go on. for quizzes. No, you know, Darius oh, Campbell, see. who is his, his famous uncle? <laughs> That's right. Or Harold Riley, who is his famous nephew? Uh, there you go. I had no idea about that. <laughs> None of us did. How lovely to see you. Oh, it's so good to be here. Um, I'm so, I'm really so pleased to be in Manchester. I love love the city and I love the, the heart and the spirit of the people and I'm going to be catching up with, with Harold and with my aunt mm -hmm. and I'll be uh, looking forward to seeing all of those that are coming to see Funny Girl that want to say hi, I'm at stage door after the show. Right, and, well that'll um, be me next week. I'll see you next I, week then. I am coming to see it, believe you me and uh, you know, for me, any excuse to play a Barbara Streisand song so I thought this is one of the songs from the show Don't do Rain it. on my parade, let's do it Darius, thank you so much. Great to see you